hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to work with the text files in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely so let's get started so first what we will do is we will create a file okay and i have a folder which is called as bot files bot underscore files and it is available on the desktop so what i will do is first i will go to i will search a special folder and then i'll drag and drop this so here you can see that when i have chosen the option as desktop it will give me the path till the desktop right so see users and then use a name in the desktop and after that you can specify the folder that you need right this way if you're going to move your bot to some other machine then also your bot will not be affected because username will change on different machine so now i will click on save so the path of that folder will be stored in the special folder paths which means see users and username and desktop this path will be stored in the special folder path variable right and then i will go to file and from here i will choose write to text file okay and here i have an option that i can choose the variable or I can choose the file right so because I'm going to create a new file so I can just uh, choose the variable where I want this uh, file to be created right I have chosen the file variable and then on the after desktop I have one more folder which is called as bot underscore files and inside that I want to create a file which is named as file1.txt right and let's say in that file I want to write hello world append new line it will help you to give a new line right so so as many times this action will be executed it will go to the next line and then it will write the value the next option is if file exists in that case what do you want to do in that case you have an option as overwrite existing content so if the file already is having some some data that will be overwritten which means that will be removed and your new content will be written there but if you choose an option as append content then it will be appended along with the existing data right so i'll just choose the override existing content here you can specify the encoding okay and then i can click on save after writing this uh, text into the file i want to read the text from that file okay here again i'll choose the special folder path variable then i need to specify the folder name and then i need to specify the file name from where i you want to read right and then store the content as single text value or list each item so you can choose that option as per your requirement and then you can click on save and the value will be stored in the file contents variable okay so i'll put a breakpoint to bre put a breakpoint you just need to left click and the breakpoint will be inserted now let me run the board and then 
you can say that run next action the file will be created and when you again click on run next action the data will be available in the file contents variable and the data type will be text value right so this is how you can read and write data from the text file in power automate desktop so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day